I'm going to show you how to format a Works Cited page in um, MLA format. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to change from the default font, which is Arial 11, change to Times New Roman, and then 12, and then type in Works Cited. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and um, I'm going to actually hit enter a couple times, and then I'm going to start pasting in a couple citations. So in MLA, I, I click the cite button over here in, um, I think this is points of view. I'm going to copy paste the MLA citation, so copy it and paste it into my doc here. I'm going to just paste it how it is, um, so I can use a shortcut to do that, that's control V. I'm going to hit enter and I am going to paste again. I'm only going to hit enter one time and I'll show you why in just a second. I'm going to go back to Explora and then copy paste this citation from Explora. So copy, paste, so uh, control C is the shortcut or you can um, double click or two finger click on it. Or I'm sorry, that's a right hand click or a two finger click for the Chromebooks. And then I'm going to paste it here. And as you can see, it is just right beneath the first citation, but the formatting is not is not correct. So I'm going to show you a shortcut on how to fix that. So the work cited is correct. It's Times New Roman 12.5. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this formatting. So I've got a paint roller tool. It's called Paint Format. I click on it. It will change my cursor into a paint roller and what it's going to do. It's going to copy the formatting here. So I clicked, uh, I have uh, work cited. My cursor is in where it says work cited. It's going to copy this formatting. I'm going to click and drag over what I want it to change. And then it becomes the correct text in size. But the formatting is still not quite, quite right. So I'll show you how to fix that. I'm going to go ahead and double space this. That's something you need to do for MLO, MLA formatting. So that's right here. It's next to, um, it kind of in the uh, right of the center of your toolbar here. So it's called line and paragraph spacing. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to double space. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I need to make my hanging indent. So I will show you the shortcut on how to do that. I'm going to drag this uh, over here, this is my indent. I'm going to drag it to half of an inch. It's a half inch indent. Oops, sorry. I'm going to highlight it and do that. So I'm going to highlight what I want in with the hanging indent. So I'm going to go ahead and drag to half of an inch. And then I'm going to do first line indent, which is the line above that triangle. I'm going to drag it back to zero. So I'm going to drag that back to zero. And now I have the hanging indent. These are the um, how it, the first line is left hand justified and then everything else is half an inch in. Uh, this is not in the correct order. It needs to be in alphabetical order. So I can go ahead and put K before L. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to paste it above my other citation. So it's in alphabetical order. And then for work cited, the title, this should be centered. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to center it. And now this is correctly formatted. And anytime I add an additional citation, I'll just show you that again. I mean, it's the same citation, but you'll get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. And what I can do now, again, is I click where I want um, the formatting to be. So I want it to be like this, uh, the same text, same font, same size. I click the paint roller and then click and drag over my new citation, and then it is correctly formatted.